This is the best defense using Madden 24 right now. It shuts down the run. It's instant sacks and interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using in results like this, got it. Now hit, hit on the money shot. Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my custom offense and custom defensive ebooks. But if you guys use team playbooks, you can also find them in my Saints offensive and Raiders defensive ebooks as well. If you guys want more help and more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay from my online CFM with 32 subscribers once again against my biggest division rival in the Washington Commanders, who has the number one defense in the entire league in yards allowed, followed closely by me in second. Although I am currently first in points allowed by a field goal so this is definitely a matchup of the two best defenses going toe to toe and we are also both using the exact same defensive formation in the big nickel over g but we are using very different plays so i'll show you guys what i am using and i'll also show you what he is doing as well so you guys can add both of them to your scheme as they are both very good plays to use together but before i do if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comments section as it really helps out the video and the channel and if you guys want a chance to join this league i will leave a link to the discord server in the description this is our second time playing this year and i have to admit that his defense caught me totally by surprise the first time as i saw in the scouting report that he was running cover two zone most of the game so i was like that defense is easy i'm just gonna bomb it up right over the middle and of course it wasn't that simple as it turns out that he was running some sort of cover three version that he got from another youtuber named spruce goose and that game still came down to the wire with him getting a stop on the goal line to preserve victory with only seconds left but that's the disadvantage that I have going into every single game is my opponent knows everything I'm going to do since they watch all my videos that I make about it and I have to figure them out on the fly over the course of the game. <laughs> But first, I want to show you what he is doing to create this defense. This league is basically a mutt style league as we allow players to choose and reassign abilities and X factors as they want for the players that have them. And my opponent uses flat zone KO on both outside cornerbacks and deep out KO on both of his safeties, as well as having two inside stuffs and no outsiders on his defensive line, making it tough to do anything run or pass against his defense. On the first drive though, my plan was to run the ball to the outside, so I switched offenses for this game to my single back tight Y off. As this formation has a good run and pass play that I lab specifically for this defense. And on the very first play, I have to check down only to see that he was running one of the plays from my defense that I put out recently in the SS Blitz 2, only he didn't run it correctly and got no pressure. I start to run the stretch on the next play, and the goal is to run away from the slot corner slash third box safety, as I know that he could be blitzing, but I also have outside containment on this side because my tight end is wider than his box defender since he pinches the defensive line every single play. And if you want to nullify the no outsiders, all you have to do is double team the edge defender. I also like to use honorary linemen on both of my superstar receivers, so after running this a few times with Quez Watkins blocking and getting into field goal territory, I decided to try to kick it up a notch and put AJ Brown on that side for better blocking. But then I try to pass and he runs my own blitz against me again, only this time he set up correctly. <laughs> and it completely derails my drive and I have to settle for a field goal to start the game. The defense that I'll be using is out of the same formation, only I am going to be choosing a few different plays, as I like to use the SS Blitz 3 mixed in with the SS Blitz 2 that I just showed him using himself, so that I can have similar coverage only with more pressure. And I'm also going to be using a new defense in the cover 6 invert as well. For my personnel adjustments, I like to put my fastest cornerback in the slot, since he will be blitzing on almost every play, and I will put two safeties in at linebacker for better coverage over the middle. For my coaching adjustments, the most important thing is to put match on and to set your auto alignment to base so you can hide your coverage as pre-snap. I like this play more because the setup is very simple, as all I really have to do is pinch the defensive line and hover the center with my user, and you can see how hard it could be to run against his shotgun look, especially with inside stuff on both of my defensive tackles. And since I mostly run cover 3 instead of cover 2, I put deep out zone KO on both of my outside cornerbacks so that I can get more knockouts and better coverage as well. 
But against the pass, I also like to press by hitting wire triangle and down on the left stick to bring the safeties closer for better pass coverage. And I also like to base the line by pressing wire triangle again and right on the left stick so that the cornerback outside will drop back, giving me a pack box look without the cornerbacks being in danger of getting beat deep. If your opponent has receivers out wide, this hard flat defender will also move out to match, which will open up a lot of different options and coverage as well. But I usually just hard flat to protect the most valuable area of cover three, which is underneath the dropping cornerbacks, as I also keep flat zone KO on this defender at all times, as well as short route KO for when I decide to man him against RPO plays. Because even hard flats don't do enough against RPO plays as he gets a big catch and run to get the midfield in the very next play. But I also have an adjustment for that, as you really just have to man the slot receiver with somebody before the play, and he will follow the bubble screen, forcing your opponent to hand off every single time. And that's exactly what happens on the next few plays, as he gets in the field goal range himself on the ground, and he has to settle for a field goal to tie the game. Back on offense, he beats me with my own cornerback blitz on the first play, only from the SS Blitz 2 to knock me back to second and 20. So I decided to try a one-play touchdown that I last specifically for this defense, as the defense he is running is a cover 2 shell, only he puts his safeties in the outside thirds like you would see in a cover three before putting his third safety in a middle third to defend the middle. And my theory was that I could get this receiver outside before the safety gets into that area, but that completely failed as he gets a big return to get inside of the red zone to start the next drive. But he can't gain a yard from here as my defense is playing lights out on back-to-back -back run plays before he tries to pass on third and long and my 97 speed corner just comes screaming in off the edge to hold him to a field goal. And that's the score at halftime as I put together a good drive on the next series only to fail a field goal attempt. God damn it! And now my opponent is trying to bulk up with three tight ends to see if he can overpower my smaller defense. How about new? And since he is running so much, I switched over to the cover four quarters, which is probably the best run defense in this formation, as the safeties will play the run first as long as you don't get past. So since he's in much larger offensive packages, I'm spreading the offensive line this time and pressing the entire defense to get the safeties closer before base aligning to back the cornerbacks off once again, then hard flatting to help with any potential stretch runs. Only to see him try and pass for the first time in a while. Gotcha, bitch! And everything is locked up here, as Keely Ringo does what my offense couldn't do and takes the interception for a score to take the lead. And now all I have to do is protect this lead. And Keely Ringo comes up big on the next play off the edge on the blitz before he RP hoes me on the next play to get to third and inches. I expect we're on the next play, so I switch to the best run defense in my playbook in the three for odd cut for quarters. No, the no, no, no. And we get a huge stop before he hurries me up and I expect that same RPO again on the very next play, only I can't get the full setup in time. And the cornerback whiffs on the next play, allowing the flukiest catch and run score that I couldn't afford to give up right now, as I just gave him the lead right back. Damn it! And now I gotta score again as time is running out. The biggest weakness of his defense and mine is underneath the dropping cornerbacks, so we take the flat routes to the running back on the next two plays to get to midfield, while also staying on the hash mark, as I can just streak the B receiver here to pull back the cornerback and get the corner route open underneath him as long as the user isn't watching. And since I hit the running back twice, he decides to double that with the user and hard flat, and I just beat him right over the top. And now that I'm in field goal territory and he is on to my game, I switch back to the stretch run as I was having a lot of success as long as I run away from that box safety like I was saying. As him pinching the defensive line every single time is costing him an outside containment. I get into the red zone and I am playing it very cautiously as we are late in the fourth quarter so a turnover would be disastrous. And I would like to score a touchdown and give him the ball back with very little time left. And that's exactly what happens as we get the score with under five minutes left before my opponent makes a critical boneheaded mistake by fielding the ball before changing his mind what? and trying to knee it at the one yard line. <laughs> Now trapped at the one and needing 99 yards to win the game, he tries to run the ball to get off the goal line. Bring that ass here, boy. But Jalen Carter is having none of that as we score on defense for the second time this game. But more importantly, we get the ball right back. I'm still only up six though, and an insurance score would be huge. So I start by running the ball from the single back tight Y off, but he knows that I want to kill clock and he's cutting that off. So I try to pass instead. <laughs> and now I'm in third and long before getting a penalty for too many adjustments to get to third and 26 with the game on the line. Which brings me to the one one play touchdown that I lab specifically for this defense out of the single back tight way off. As all I have to do is flip this place so I'm running it away from the safety who is responsible for the middle third and I put the wide receiver on a streak and that safety can't get over in time as we break the game wide open with a 95 yard touchdown. He could go all the way 95 yards. 
We just have to get one more stop as he gets to about midfield once again before we switch to a new defense in the cover six invert. Gotcha, bitch! And we get another interception to end the game. But this is a league game, and I'm still trying to get my yardage total goal that I set up for this game. And I don't know what happened, but his safety just glitched out, letting my tight end get wide open for the score. Which also happened in the first game that we played, so there might be some sort of issue with this defense. But try out both defenses and let me know which one works better for you in the comment section. As we win a very important game to take a one game lead in the division, and my defense only gave up 154 total yards, with half of that coming on one broken coverage against an RPO. So if that's that video, if you guys want to see more about the defense I was running or want some tips to improve your CFF team, I'll have links to them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below